Hey all, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial about how to get an airfoil into SolidWorks. Um, two programs you'll need, uh, one right here, Design Foil. Uh, this is free demo that you can download, and uh, I'll put the link in the video for you. Um, the other program is obviously SolidWorks, and this is not free. So, uh, hopefully, somehow you can get your hands on one. Anyway. So let's start this off. You're going to get your airfoil. Um, if you're using a NACA airfoil, you can go ahead and design one in here uh, just by clicking these tabs, so on and so forth. Right here, this NACA 6412 is going to be changing as you change these numbers. Awesome. Okay. Um, I went ahead and went on Google and typed in airfoil database and downloaded a DAT file of the airfoil that I like. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use fx 74 sm All right, so you just click on that guy. Um, so once you have your thing selected in here, what you'll need to do is start a new part. And uh, any plane that you want, start a sketch on plane. Okay. And then go back into design foil. And with that airfoil that you want selected, go CAD export SolidWorks send airfoil to SolidWorks. Um, this is the cord length that um, it's going to be uh, assigning to your foil. Um, so you can go ahead and copy that, Control C. Yeah, it doesn't want you to change it, that's fine. Send it over. Once this box goes away, it sent it to SolidWorks. And so here is your imported airfoil. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, spline points in here, and uh, um, we want to get rid of those as far as um, modeling goes. So there's a cool trick you can do. Um, you're going to need a new plane first. So you're going to select a plane that is parallel to the current plane it's on. So in our case, it's front plane. Okay. And go ahead and we want to pull off a new plane on this. So you're going to hold down your control key and then move the um, your mouse until you get the little uh, cross arrows there. Click and hold down and pull away. And then thing. Click the green check mark and you have a new plane floating out there that's parallel to your existing one. And so once you have this plane out here, um, you're going to go ahead and start a sketch on it. Okay, and you know you're in sketch mode because of these two icons up here are visible. And uh, so once you're in, um, in your sketch, you want to convert this sketch of your airfoil onto this new plane. And so by to do that, you go ahead and select your sketch right here. Then a convert. And there we go. And now it's on our new plane. Um, there is one issue now. Let's say we wanted to scale this uh, new sketch up and down to match our desired chord length. Um, as of now, it is that 2.72. Uh, it's not going to let me measure it off this. Normal too. Okay, it's a 2.72. So if you wanted to scale it, you cannot do that because it is fully defined. That's what the black lines mean. Um, and it's fully defined because it's it's referencing the sketch that you uh, you took it off of when you converted its entities. So um, what we want to do is get rid of those relations. So we go up to display relations up here. And then these on are the two uh, relations that is referencing this old sketch here. We want to delete them all. Press OK. And now our sketch is blue. So it is no longer referencing this old sketch. So we can go ahead and delete this old sketch, get rid of it completely, and uh, our, now we can actually scale and um, sketch on this new airfoil here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. get out of the sketch here. OK. And then um, go over to our uh, 
tree up here and delete this plane in this sketch. And just delete, delete. Okay. Now we have our normal airfoil. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get down to the a simple conversion. So right now it's at 2.72-ish inches. And we want it, we won't be able to scale this thing to our desired length. Um, so we're going to go and edit this sketch right now. So we go over to our tree, left click, go up to edit sketch. Okay, looks good. Now we're over here so we know we're in our sketch and the sketch is blue, which is fine. Uh, we want to go up to our tools. Um, some of you might have this kind of toolbar up here uh, with this thing that expands out like that. Go ahead and click down this uh, little guy here. And while I got you here, actually, um, we want to make sure that we are using our correct units because um, we're going to be scaling. So in the options task bar right here, we want to click there, document process, go down to units, and I'm going to be working in uh, IPS, inch pound seconds. Some of you guys might want millimeters, meters, so on and so forth, or you can even make your own. I like so I'm going to stick with that. Say OK. So now, again, we're trying to scale this up to our desired length. So we're sketch, and we're going to go Tools, Sketch Tools, Scale. OK. Uh, entities to scale, you can just click and drag over everything, and it gives you um, all your lines. This line 4. You're like, hey, what's that about? Um, the spline is your airfoil. This line four is connecting. If you zoom in way back here, let's see. Ah, so it's not there. So we need to actually sketch a line. Oh, there it is. That must be the video capture thing that's freaking it out. Anyways, there's your line four. There should be one there. It just showed up. Yeah. Good. So anyways, that's completing your airflow loop. So we want it we want to scale everything about the nose here. And uh, let's say we want our cord length to be twelve inches. Okay. Right now it's at that two point seven two number, right? So we're gonna do uh, twelve divided by and then that two point seven two number, which if you forgot it which all you have to do is go SolidWorks, send airfoil, and 2.718227. Okay, so just remember that number, 2.718227. Okay, so you just got your ratio there. Click OK, and your airfoil is much bigger now. And if you just want to make sure, just for a sanity check of how big it is, go ahead and pull a smart dimension off the origin. Uh, I've got to get normal to this real quick. Yeah, I want a dimension from the nose to the tail, 12 inches. Awesome. So it's a little off, but you know, that's two ten thousandths. So yeah, you're fine. Um, great, so now we can exit our sketch, and we were going to want to give this airfoil some thickness, because it's now going to be our rib, so we're going to extrude that guy, I just clicked on the line there, and let's say we want it 16 inches thick, just type in that fraction, press enter, and there you go, and that is a quick and simple way of how to get your DAT file or your NACA airfoil, whatever you're using, from Design Foil into SolidWorks. And uh, I'll go into more about how you can actually sketch on these airfoils in uh, the next video. So, yeah, hope that helps.